Hi guys, welcome to another lesson. Today's topic is conservation of natural resources. So now let's talk about the meaning of conservation. Now conservation is the planning and management of resources in order to secure, or we can also call it the wise use of resources to ensure the continuity of supply of these resources while maintaining their value, quality, and diversity. So, conservation is just simply managing resources to make sure they are still useful, they are still, they are still maintain their quality, and to make sure they don't run out of supply. And conservation of natural resources is just simply doing this for natural resources. Now, natural resources can be renewable or non-renewable. Now, let's talk about renewable and non-renewable natural resources. Renewable natural resources, they are simply resources that are recoverable, that they, they, their supply is continuous. For example, the plants, water, air, food, and soil. While the non-renewable natural resources are natural resources that get exhausted and cannot be replaced when lost. They cannot be recovered when lost. Examples are minerals or the mineral resources such as coal, petroleum, gold deposits, tin, copper, crude oil, and so on and so forth. Now let's talk about the reasons for conservation of natural resources. Why do we conserve natural resources? First one is to preserve rare and valuable species of plants and animals for future generations. So there are some endangered species of animals and some plants. So conservation helps to preserve these rare and valuable species so that they can keep on existing. Another reason for conservation is to prevent the destruction of natural resources and to allow the continued use of natural resources for man's benefit. Another reason for, conservi co for conserving natural resources is to prevent or to pr protect the natural beauty of the environment, to protect the natural beauty of the environment. Another reason is to promote the recycling of some scarce or rare mineral resources. Another one is for, to pr protect forests that provide medicinal materials. So the forest provides lots of medicinal products. So conservation helps to protect the forest and ensures easy availability and continued existence of the forest. Another reason for conservation is that natural resources such as wildlife, forests, and minerals are conserved for research purposes. Now, let's discuss the methods of conserving water. Well, we'll be talking about different natural resources and how we can conserve them. We're starting with water. Now, water can be conserved by irrigation. Water can also be conserved by building of dams and reservoirs. We can also preserve or conserve water by adequate control of the use of ground water. So the way people dig wells and boreholes should be regula regulated and controlled. Another one is the control of water pollution. If water pollution can be well prevented and well managed, that helps to conserve water. Now let's talk about the conservation of forest. How can forest resources be conserved? The first one is by reforestation. Reforestation is simply the replanting of trees that have been cut down or removed. Reforestation is quite diff different from afforestation or deforestation. Afforestation is simply the planting of trees. Deforestation is the cutting down of a large number of trees or a large expanse of trees, while reforestation is replacing cut down trees. Now, another way, so forests can be conserved by reforestation. Another way is through the adequate forest management approach. If you have a good or if you have a body regulating the use of forest, that helps to conserve the fo forest. Another one is by the maintenance of forest reserves. Each country or several countries have what we call forest reserves. So proper maintenance of the forest reserves helps in the conservation of forest. Another one is by having strict laws guiding forest management. So if there are strict laws in place to prevent the improper use of forest, 
This helps in the conservation of forests. So another way of conserving forests is by soil conservation. So if the soil is well conserved, the forest in turn is also well conserved. And also another way is by encouraging adequate forestation. If forestation itself, planting of trees, is we could also call afforestation, is encouraged by the government, that helps to conserve forest. Another one is by encouraging the industry to make use of other materials aside wood. So that's another way to conserve forest by shifting methods of production from from wood to other materials. With that, we've come to the end of today's class. Next class, we'll be talking about the other resources, natural resources, and how they can be conserved.